Hi everyone and welcome back to the sewing school. The last time I was here I showed you how to do the duvet, one moment, with, and we did the duvet and I also showed you how to make the pillow. Now what I didn't show you was how to finish off the duvet, so that's what we're going to do today. So let's just go back. I showed you how to hand sew the closing of your pillow or your cushion and don't forget that a cushion is exactly the same as a duvet in regards to assembly it's just that one is, is a bit bigger and a bit longer than a cushion so as long as you remember that you're fine so I showed you how to hand stitch it across uh, that was a wee while ago so you can have a look at that I also showed you how to use your sewing machine to close it off and the reason why I hand sewed this and uh, um, machine stitch that across and left this bit here was because I quite like that detailing but you don't often have a detailing like that and that's already been sort of like closed off by the manufacturer so it doesn't um, fray out. Okay so getting rid of that, getting rid of that. So instead of hand stitching this and instead of putting a zip in which can be quite difficult what I want to show you is this process here which is domes and hooks or snap locks. Now the snap lock comes like this, here it is, here it comes in um, a strip and it's got on one side you've got the dome and the other you've got the little wee eyelet where it can snap together. Now I like this the best because it's easier for kids and it's easier for me and it's easier than putting in a zip because depending on the size of your duvet or whatever you're doing is going to, if you can't always get a zip that's continuous and long, 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 long. So this is why I prefer these and it also gives me more control. You might be thinking, oh no, I'm just gonna hand stitch mine closed. Well, the thing is with doing that, when you come to launder your duvet cover, you're gonna have to take all that hand stitching undone and then you have to do it together. So this, you know, re-stitch it on. So this this is the best way of doing it. It's really, really easy. Let me just drop that down there and get this one here, which is almost ready to be installed. So when you are stitching, so you, you will have stitched around three sides. Then what I do is I do another, just a little few stitches, inches of stitches this side and at this side here, and then you turn it all in as you've already done. Then getting this, um, and get more than what you think that you're going to be needing, with glasses on now, um, keep one, keep this two sides together, go into where your seam is, is, and push that into there just a little bit, and then what I like to do is just, and then come down sort of like a couple of mils or a quarter of a centimetre or even an eighth of a centimetre, an eighth of an inch. Put that to there like that. And then what I do is I go back and I unpick that bit there just to make sure that that is caught. And then every, so where you've got your dome, you then put, I put a pin in between those domes and then just keep going. You're just going to pin all the way across until you get to the other end. Then do the other side, stick, making sure that this matches. Um, and then what I did was I just go into there like that and then bring my material together and then once you've gone to the other side and done that, the other side you will know whether it's all going to match up because those little bits, eyelets have got to match in with that little domey bit. Pin that all across to the other end and then what you need to do is with your sewing machine, let me just turn this around and I'll take this off. Okay, so there's two types of feet. There's that type of foot and there's that type of foot. Now that's the one that we use for just about all of the sewing we do. Whereas this one here is actually designed where you can put it on either. It's got a little tab here that where it can either go on this side of the needle or this side of the needle. 
the, the zipper foot are the best for putting this on because when you look at this, and I'm going to demonstrate in a minute, when you, when you see this, when you put your fabric through, this here, this foot is going to hit, hold on, let me just get my glasses on so that I can see, and I, but I'm going to show you, but I just want to talk it through. So when you go to stitch, because that edge of that foot is hitting that little bit there, see that wee bit there, you're actually going to be stitching, the needle's going to go through, I'll put that down there, the needle's going to go through that little that little space there, whereas if you use this here, depending on where you want to put it, you are st this here is going to mean that you've still got just a little bit of edging room for doing your stitching here. Let me just demonstrate so that you see what I mean. Okay, so turning this around, and this here goes into here. So as I said, it can either go and oops, I hope you can see this. I know it's a bit fiddly. So the needle, when I drop the needle down, it's going to go that side there. If I put it, uh, oops, lifting the foot up. If I go this side, and that just goes down onto that little bar there. Well, where are you? Oh, it's very difficult back to front. Hold on, hold on. What am I doing here? Oh, just a minute. I need to just get this around here so that I can see which way I'm going. So that little bar goes, ah, there it is. So that little bar snips down. So this time the needle is on this side of the, of the zipper foot. Now, I will show you what I mean right now. Just quickly, 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 I will sew this through. So getting rid of that, just make sure that you've got that sorted. So when you are stitching, what now will happen is putting that down onto, whoop, onto there, I'll just show you what I mean. Now, I'll just do a wee quick few stitches to just show you. So when you're sewing it, now... I am my foot. This little foot here is just uh, kind of touching that, but it's out of the way. So I'll just bring this up and I will show you what I mean. So it's very, very difficult to see, but I'm just catching that edge there. Um, if you turn it over to the other side, no, that's the side I want it to be. So it just, it's actually just marginally away from touching that. And the reason I'm saying this is because if you don't do that, you're going to hit that and you're not going to be able to sew it properly. So it's, a, you, it's just going to be a trial and error. It's really difficult for me to show you because you're just not right here watching. But just make sure, and I'll just take this off, oh, that when you're doing it, it's not that foot that you use. It is the zipper foot. So I hope that makes sense and I hope that that helps you out, but it's quite difficult to show you how to do it. But that will solve your problem of affixing the, the oh, where is it? The hooks and eye clasp or clip fastening to the inside of your duvet cover. Please, I hope I've helped. I'll see you again another day.